your style and maturity evolved over the years? I've become more more patient. I think because I have a I have a wife and I have kids, and my wife has taught me to be patient. And um, I, I was probably a little bit more demanding in my, before, and really uh, maybe a little aggressive, you know. And now I'm just learning to just flow, go with the flow, like you know, time wasted for no one, and time is too short. So just go with the flow. Looking back. What would you say to a younger Rodney Jerkins? I don't have any regrets, so I never tell myself, I, I wish I would have did it differently. Life is part, of, is, is, is part of you learning, so I have really no regrets. I'm very content in, with this, in this path that I've, that I've chosen, and I've always learned to just keep God first, so I feel like my direction, he's given me, but I never get upset. I'm in the, I just live in the moment and keep it going. How has your musical taste changed? I've been more embracive to, uh, to a lot more colors of music that I, I didn't know even existed. Now I listen to all genres. There's not, you know. Growing up, I listened to R&B, pop, hip hop, but now I listen to like electro, dubstep. I just listen to, I listen to any alternative, I listen to anything now. You know, I just love music and you know, as long as, you know, the content is, is, is good enough for me to play around my family, I'll listen to it. Who do you draw your inspiration from? I'm really inspired by family. Like, you know, it's the backbone for me. Because, listen, if tomorrow God chose for me to stop making music, you know, you have family. I have family that, I, that is here for me, and I have family that that I can love each and every day, music or no music. You know, I love getting in the car and playing Joy's music and the kids singing along and putting them on songs with her. Oh, it's amazing. It's the most amazing feeling when you see your kids singing, you know, your songs. You know, I remember I used to always say, I gotta go find myself, I gotta find a way to get inspired. Now I'm just inspired. I'm inspired when I wake up every morning and I look at my, my this family that God has gave me and that's all I need, and I'm good. What do you do in order to balance work and family? When I look at my career, I had music, so much music and so much music, and that's all I did was music, music, music. Uh, you can't worship music, you know, music isn't God. But when you have family, you have, you have that thing that, that counts more than anything. You have to have some type of support system, you know, what happens when your song doesn't go number one that you expected it to? You know, you, you have to have that support system. I have a wife that tells me to try again. I have a wife that looks me in the eyes and says, I love you. Whether you're number one or 200, it doesn't matter to her. I have kids that don't care about daddy's songs on the charts. And that's what's really, really important to me. What's a learning lesson that you've passed down to little RJ? I don't push it on them. I don't, you know, they're young. They're five, three, and eight months. So, you know, I'm not really talking about the work ethic part that much. But I, what I do is I instill it into his craft, not musically. I understand that. He loves golf. So I'm always telling them, if you want to be just as good as a Tiger Woods or a Phil Mickelson or a Rory McIlroy, you have to, you have to practice, practice, practice. You have to work hard at it. That's the only way. You can't lollygag. And I don't care if you're five or 10, you have to work hard. And that's in life with anything. If you just work hard at what you do, you will succeed at that thing you do.